I want to say something to you and listen to what the Bible says. God's word will set you free. The Bible says you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Everyone desires the Holy Spirit. The moment you become a real Christian, I don't speak about religion Christian. Religious Christian and true Christian is two different things. There's many religious people in South Africa. Religion does not save you and church membership does not save you. Neither church membership in this church or another church can save you. True membership of the church of Jesus globally is to be born again. To be saved. Not church membership on paper. Not going to, through certain rituals. But believe in Jesus and experience his life in you. Not speaking about it, experiencing his life and his power. Remember again, he said, the kingdom of heaven is not a matter of talking, but of power. Jesus said, when I cast out devils by the finger of God, then you know that the kingdom of heaven is in your midst. Everyone wants the Holy Spirit. Do you want the Holy Spirit? I've got something to tell you. Together with having the Holy Spirit comes persecution. Always, right through the church's history, the moment the Holy Spirit was poured out, persecution broke out against Christians. It went on right through the Middle Ages, reformers, all these people, and even today. The moment a Christian got the Holy Spirit, they get persecuted. Even by religious people. Satan God next to you, your religion cannot save you. But only your faith in Jesus. There's many religious Christians. You don't see that they are saved by their lives. The Bible says, a man is known by the fruit that he bears. Every tree is known by his fruit. A fig tree cannot produce hock and stick. Amen. Say to the guy next to you, I've never seen a fig tree producing hock and stick. I've never seen a fig tree producing thorns. I mean, but I see a fig tree produces figs. And it's not an effort for him to produce figs because his, his nature is to be a fig tree. So for the true Christian, it is not difficult to produce the fruit that can be seen. Jesus said you do not light a lamp and put it under a bucket, but you put it on a lampstand. You stick a lamp on and sit on under a emmer. You sit on a lamp stand so that all your light can see and your Father in the Himmel can verheerlik. So it is evident who are Christians and who are not. So the people came to John the Baptist to be to be baptized. Religious people, say to the to religious people, they had the dresses on, religious dresses. They came to be baptized by John. John did not speak nicely to them. He rebuked them and said to him, who told you that you can escape the fires of hell? Look, the axe is already at the roots to cut you out but rather produce fruit that suits repentance. Hallelujah. Say fruit that suit a Christian. The moment you've got the Holy Spirit, you start to experience persecution, even from family members, work colleagues, Religious circles. Jesus came to his own and his own did not receive him. Because he did not carry the spirit of the world, but the spirit from heaven, the Holy Spirit. He came to his own and his own did not receive him. Do not be surprised when you come to your own and your own do not receive you. Very few Jews 
follow Jesus. He trained 12 of them, which one betrayed him. He sent them into the world and said, go and make disciples of all nations. And teach them to observe everything I've commanded you and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And look, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. Because I will give you my Holy Spirit. Ask the guy next to you, do you got the Holy Spirit? Don't say yes if there's no evidence of the Holy Spirit in your life. The Christian life is not imaginary. I imagine, I think, I think I've got the Spirit. If you've got the Spirit, you will know you've got the Spirit. It will be evident you've got the Spirit. You, I've got evidence in my life that the Holy Spirit's with me. <laughs> Brother, you got evidence that the Holy Spirit is with you? Don't say, I've got the Holy Spirit, but you never experience Him, and you don't know, you don't see Him in your life. The moment you go get the Holy Spirit, persecution starts to follow you, because now you're a threat to Satan. The Christian without the Holy Spirit is not a threat to the devil or evil. But the Christian with the Holy Spirit immediately become a threat to evil. It's not you that are the threat, but it's the Spirit on you, the Spirit of Jesus, that is now a threat to the enemy, the devil. Because now you can start to tell others about Jesus. You can lead them to Jesus. You can pray for the sick and they get healed. You can even cast out devils. So the devil doesn't like you now because of the Holy Spirit on you. It's not you that the devil is scared of. But it's the name of Jesus that you bear and carry. The name of Jesus is the Christ. Say Jesus the Christ. I mean Jesus the anointed one. And anointing is the Holy Spirit's presence. When you walk in his name, many wonderful things will happen. And goodness and favor will come to you. And many blessings will follow you. Together with the persecution of the devil. And the devil used many people, even the religious people. Even family members. Don't worry. Amen. Amen. Is the Holy Spirit evident in your life? If you do not have the Holy Spirit, you're not born again. Jesus said in John 3 to Nicodemus, if you are not born again, you will not see the kingdom of heaven. And if you're not born of water and the Spirit, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. What is born of flesh is flesh. What is born of the Spirit is spirit. Now, that, that born of water, many people think it's baptism. It's, that's not baptism. When a person gets born, the water of the mother break. There's water involved. And the person gets born. So whatever is born of flesh is flesh. And then a person must be born a second time by the Spirit. And one who is born of the Spirit it's like the wind. You do not know where it's coming from. You do not know where it's going. Hallelujah. Amen. Is the Holy Spirit evident in your life? If you do not have the Holy Spirit, you're not born again. It is not good enough to be a mere religious person. You need the Holy Spirit to seal you for God. In Jesus' name.